Our next uh, witness is Commissioner Donald Palmer. Commissioner Palmer was confirmed to the Election Assistance Commission in January 2019. Mr. Palmer is the former Secretary of the Virginia State Board of Elections and served as Virginia's Chief Election Official from 2011 to 2014. He also serves as, served as an Intelligence Officer and a Judge Advocate General. Commissioner Palmer. Good morning, Chairman uh, Johnson and members of the committee and ranking, the ranking member. I'm thankful for the opportunity to testify before you this morning on the 2020 general election. In the efforts of the Election Assistance Commission to secure the nation's voting systems, election officials, the commissioners, and the staff of the EAC have a duty to ensure the accuracy and integrity of the voting systems used throughout the nation. Our mission is to support the chief election officials, the directors of elections and administrators, in all localities across the country. As the only federal agency commit, completely dedicated to election administration, the EAC is charged with facilitating secure, lawful, and accessible elections. Under the Help America Vote Act, the EAC is focused on assisting state and local election officials. We are a bipartisan agency that recognizes the authority of states to conduct federal elections, and that is a cornerstone of our representative democracy. The 2020 general election has underscored the vital importance of comprehensive oversight of voting technology and the companies who manufacture these systems. That oversight is an overlapping process of voluntary vote federal standards, state certification or approval, and local logic and accuracy testing prior to each election. We work to bolster confidence in democracy by adopting voluntary voting system guidelines periodically. We test voting systems, we accredit test laboratories, and serve as a national clearinghouse of information on election administration. Let me be clear. The EAC has confidence in the voting systems we certify and in the state and local election administrators who ran the election. First and foremost, that's due to the process the voting system manufacturers must undergo to receive federal certification. Before voting machines and election management systems are used in elections, the systems undergo rigorous hardware and software testing by laboratories accredited by the EAC and the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. There are currently two accredited voting system laboratories, pro v and and SLI. Currently, the EAC's quality monitoring program includes auditing voting system test laboratories and manufacturing facilities, conducting field reviews of EAC certified voting systems and gathering information on voting system anomalies on EAC certified voting systems. I strongly support additional auditing, additional field reviews, and resolutions of any anomalies discovered. To apply for EAC certification of a voting system, a company must first apply to register with the agency as a registered manufacturer. Registration requires manufacturers to provide details on their ownership structure, names of officers and members of the board of directors, and any individual or organization with a controlling interest in the company. Additionally, a list of all manufacturing or assembly facilities used by the manufacturer and the name and contact information of the person at each facility responsible for quality management must be provided. There are currently eight active manufacturers registered with the EAC's testing program. Please note it is not a requirement to be an EAC registered manufacturer to develop and sell voting systems to jurisdictions in the United States. It's a voluntary program. Joining the program requires the manufacturers voluntarily agree to the program's requirements as outlined in the program annual. Requirements include complying with all EAC inquiries and investigations into the uses and status of fielded EAC certified systems. Under our quality monitoring program, these investigations may arise due to technical failures, experience in the field, by election administrators, misrepresentation, misrepresentations made in regard to the certification status of a voting system, and any deviations in quality in regard to those systems submitted to testing versus what is actually fielded. The EAC stopped an election day war room to gather information on issues reported by the media and election officials. Five of the eight manufacturers participated in those calls. Additionally, the program is following up with election officials and voting system, system manufacturers to obtain any information on claims of irregular, irregularities reported in the media during the general election. This effort is ongoing. Jurisdictions across the United States also perform a series of logic and accuracy tests prior to operating those voting machines 
in polling places. We support those efforts through technical assistance and best practices and our grant monies. Election officials conduct post-election audits to verify the completeness and accuracy of the tabulated votes. I'm going to conclude with stating that we recognize the need to do more than ever to strengthen the confidence and the integrity of our elections. HAVA set forth an ambitious agenda for EAC, one rooted in protecting the foundation of our de democracy. Despite the challenges in recent years, the EAC has faithfully fulfilled its obligation and even expanded support it provides to election administrators and to voters. We look forward to working with Congress in a bipartisan manner as we continue our efforts to help America vote. I'm happy to answer any questions uh, following this testimony. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Palmer.